this is good. I'll try like that. I think because of the rain. Ah! I was going to say it's not going to break as much, but it broke more than I thought it did, which makes me a very sad Ouija. <sighs> so much so that I have to scratch my nose because of my allergy problem. And the next hole, number nine, which will be the end of the front nine, uh, will be a zigzag type of hole. It goes to the left and then goes to the right to the hole. I, I like this hole a lot. It's really simple design, but it, it's very effective. Like, when you want to aim for the green and two for a risky shot with a stronger character, um, I might actually be able to do it with Ouija here. Uh, the water tier right here definitely makes the shot very risky. Oh, and uh, to those who don't know, if you plunk your ball in the water, that is a one-stroke penalty, and it puts you back um, to where your ball last touched land, or last was over land. So, if you're, so let's say you wanted to hit all the way over to the other side of this thing here. If your ball plunked in the water, you'd have to play it from all the way back over here. But if you manage to get your ball across that land and then it uh, fell backwards into the water, you'd be able to play your ball from across there. Um, oh, by the way, I also forgot to mention, when you're close to the green, um, I recommend that you select an approach shot with the B button instead of the power shot. It's just like selecting a power shot with the B button. But uh, what, what an approach shot does is it, is it lowers the angle of your shot and allows you to run the ball to the, to the hole a lot easier than if you were to... Um, just try and plunk it down from up high, but uh, sometimes you want to plunk the ball down from up high, so it's a uh, it's a judgment call basically. Ooh, I'm surprised I got that putt actually, compared uh, because I didn't do so well on that last breaking putt. Uh, and that ends the front nine of the cheap cheap star course. And next one is. Oh, this, this hole reminds me so much of, like, a foot. Here, I'll zoom out here. Look at that. See, it's, like, four toes over there. It's just so weird looking. It's like a sideways footprint. I mean, sideways foot with toes off to the side. It just kind of looks like that to me. I don't know. Um, but look out for the trees on the sides if you have a character with a jaw or a fade. So, yeah, you don't hit them on your way out. You'll only have, like, a 50-yard drive. That would suck. Suck really badly. Um. Let's see what I got here. I think I want to play it like over here so the break of the green brings the ball over to the hole. Now, I'm not going to use any spin on the ball to make it roll towards the ball. So let's see how it goes. Uh, that was a way, way play too much to the right. Because it hit that ridge over here and it bumped it more towards the right instead of to the, towards the left. So that was not well played on my part. But I still have a chance to get this putt. So let's see how things go. It's downhill. You can see by that blue arrow at the top of the screen there. So sometimes you may want to use less power, depending on your style. So you don't over hit the shot and make it jump over the hole by having too much power. Um, but it, as I said, it's a personal preference thing with golf, just to find out what works for you. I tend to use a pretty hard amount of power for all my putts, um, just to make my putts predictable, because I can usually make any putt within 10 feet, usually. That's not a guarantee. This is golf. There is no guarantees in golf. Golf is a hard game. You can, you're thrown with a lot of unexpected situations. Um... Uphill, 0.1 feet, that's not much feet at all. Ah, oh, I hit it too hard. If I would hit it softer, it would have went in the hole because the break would have took it downhill faster. Or I should say sooner during that uh, line that you've seen the ball went. Um, see, that's another thing, is you got to pay attention to um, your putts as you do them. Even if you make mistakes, you can... Uh, um, improve yourself later on you know it's a golf is a game of very precise improvements very very subtle stuff to to make sure that your uh, shots are better so you can get better scores you have a better chance of getting better scores um, you don't necessarily have to have ultra precise shots to have better scores uh, but it certainly does help uh, but if you can make the shots from further away from the hole then by all means go and do it Man, the screen is bright. I, I forgot how bright this game really is. Wow! It's like daylight all over here. And I have only the TV light in the room. Um, um, I should say the TV's light in this room. 
Yeah, that's by the way, that's a tip if you're a camera walkthrough. Um, darken the room completely with lights, shades, everything. Otherwise, the TV will reflect the lights wherever it is on the room. I don't care where the light is in the room, if the TV is going to reflect it, unless you dim the lights as much as possible. So you want the, t the camera to only focus on the TV, not the, not the window, not the lamp, not anything. Only the TV. Like when the screen goes black, you'll be able to see like lamps and stuff like that, but not in my walkthroughs, or at least not anymore. <laughs> I used to have stuff like that on in the background when I did my walkthroughs when I first started, but not anymore once I improved my stuff. You know, I noticed my mistakes and I improved on them, just like golf. That's how things work. You should never dwell on your mistakes. You should look at them and say, hey, I could improve it. Yeah, I, I could make this a little bit better. Yeah, this was a good this was a good hole, but I could have played it better. Like, I, I could have take, taken less risks for this hole or something like that. You know, you just gotta replay the holes a few times and just think about each of your shots before and after you play them. Uh, and that's basically like anything in life, really. Just improve as you go. And fairway, very nice. By the way, if, if you end up in like the rough or something like that, uh, and you will eventually end up in the rough, you'll, you'll lose power on your shots, um, but you won't lose accuracy on them either. So it's, it's not really mu not much of a uh, uh, hindrance, but only if you get into the really deep rough that it becomes a problem. In case you didn't notice on that shot, I made a curve from a hiccup, excuse me, from left to right to be able to get around that tree right there that I'm pointing at. Um, if I wouldn't have, it, it would have hit the tree and I wouldn't have been able to make it on the green and even be able to try the shot, because that tree was right in my line towards the hole, so I wouldn't have been able to get close on this shot no matter what I did. Unless I was using a, using a stronger character, um, that would be the only chance I would have of getting close on it. <laughs> Dang you! So close! But that's okay. Next hole. I'm almost through with the cheap cheap course. Wow, this is going pretty dang quick. I'm kind of sad about that. I think I'm going to do one more course for the day. And, and then do the last uh, three or four courses another day. After I edit my parts that I did today. Um, that reminds me, this is the first time I'm ever doing two games at once. Uh, I've just been really in the mood for making videos lately. Probably because I haven't been making videos in a while. I really did miss making videos and stuff like that. Oh, that was a good pot! Very good pot! Ah! Well, anyway, uh, I really wanted to make videos lately, so... Uh, I'm making a lot of videos lately, and I feel like I feel I'm actually making them too fast that uh, people aren't able to catch up with them. So maybe I should be slowing them down. Uh, so I've made like well, I don't know, 30 videos or so in the last two, three weeks or so. That's a pretty good amount of videos, I'd, I'd say. At least I think it's around 30 videos. I could be wrong. It's somewhere around there. I've taken a few videos down for like tests. They were test videos and stuff like that that I didn't beat up. Um, so yeah, a lot of footage lately. I think I'm ha ha um, getting a little ahead of the people for once. Uh, but yeah, haven't had a camera in a while. I miss making videos, so I'm doing it, baby. You can watch them whenever you want to. Uh, doesn't matter. It's not like they're going to be going down anytime soon. I'm not taking them down. I always keep my walkthrough videos up. And this is a really odd hole, this par 5 right here. See, you can hit the green in two. You can hit it in two, but the green is over here. It's through these trees up here. So you can try and get it up that hill. But with a character like I have with Luigi, you're very unlikely to be able to get it up there. So you might have to play it off to the right side here. Um, just for safety's sake. Ooh. Oh, another thing I should mention. See that thing at the bottom right corner that shows your lies? See there's a little brown thing with grass underneath it. Now it's pure green. Underneath the ball at the bottom right corner. That tells you what kind of lie you have. That's kind of useful in a way. 
Um, because if your ball lands in like a divot or it's in a deep, uh, deep impression of rough or fairway or whatever, your ball won't go as high and it won't, Whoa! And it won't go as far as it usually goes. Oh man, if this was real golf, I would be thrown off the course with all... How did I miss that pot? See what I mean? That you would un um, have unexpected misses sometimes. Like, I, I usually make 10 foot putts like that, but I missed it. That's unexpected. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I would be thrown off the course if I was if this was real golf, but this is not real golf. So I am allowed to be as crazy as possible. Well, you know, on purpose. <laughs> but uh, in real golf, I wouldn't recommend that uh, because you would get thrown out or very likely reported to the course marshal, and then the, the course marshal would throw you out, maybe, or they'd give you a warning or something like that. I never got a warning from a course marshal or something before, because I've never been, like, really rowdy, like some of the people that I've heard out there, but I've seen people people get warnings from the course marshals and stuff like that to uh, keep it down for other people's sake. Yeah, that, that, that's another thing in real life golf, is that you have to be considerate of other people on the course, not just of the people that are on your, that are, uh, with you in your group. 